Hi, I'm Tom Johnson. Today we're going to talk about why when you're modeling an access in SDK, some subtle effects that you have to think about as you're looking at uh, different kinds of problems and understanding the relationship of when you say, I want an access, what am I really asking SDK to do? So here I have my object on the ground, let's say I have my facility, and I have a satellite up here in space. And what I want to do is calculate the axis, which is when can this facility see this satellite? And at a high level, that's a pretty basic concept. You know, you know as the satellite's moving in its orbit, and eventually it'll go out of view and, and everything and, and, and go over the horizon or whatever is going on with the motion of the spacecraft. But when I sit, tell SDK, and I click on my facility, and I say, I want to do the axis from the facility to the satellite, what SDK is really being asked to do is to answer the question, when, what time, call us T transmit, should the facility start transmitting at so that the signal gets to the satellite? And remember, because the satellite's moving, I'm really moving in inertial space. And I've got light time delay in here as well, which we talked about in a previous video. And so when you click on a facility and you say, I want to do an access to the satellite and SDK comes back with a, with a time, let's say the access starts here. That's really the time that the facility should start transmitting so that the signal can get to the satellite. The other question that you might ask is, what time would that satellite actually receive that signal? And the difference there, of course, is the light time delay. And so when we look at an access and we pull it up in, in SDK, and you start looking at the, the detailed configuration of the, of, the, of the access, you'll notice there's a, a, a direction question that you can actually configure. Am I transmitting, which is this scenario, or am I receiving? Am I asking the question, what time would the facility receive a signal from the spacecraft? So by default, if you, whatever your from object is, we're assuming that we're doing a transmit type scenario. What time, what time should I start transmitting so that it gets to the satellite? Okay. If you want to know what time the satellite is going to receive the signal, then you need to pay attention to your access configuration and, and look at who is quote unquote hosting the clock. In this scenario, the facility is hosting the clock, but I may want to know how this, the satellite hosts the clock so that when I get the, the time measurement, it's really telling me the time of receipt of the, at the, the satellite. Conversely, I may want to know what time uh, should the facility would the facility receive my signal, and if that's the case, then I would click on my facility, do the access to the satellite. But then I need to make sure that I switch the uh, the directionality so that I'm in a receive sense, because a satellite might uh, have to come up over the horizon and then start transmitting and then my facility would, would, the time tag would be a time of receipt. Okay, so pay attention to your direction, because depending on the scenario that you're trying to model, it really starts to become important, particularly when you have objects that are getting farther and farther away, like all the way out to the moon or even deep space stuff. Um, not only does it affect the, the, the time that we're talking about, it actually also affects the geometry, like what's the range, what's the azimuth, what's the elevation, okay? So we have to know the direction, and we have to know who's hosting the clock. Typically, the from object is hosting the clock, but you may have to switch the logic and ask the question, is the, uh, the receive object or the to object hosting the clock? If I, again, on a receive site, if my facility is trying to track the satellite, then I'm, I'm trying to receive the signal at the facility, and I would do the access from the facility to the satellite, but then switch my direction so that I'm doing a, a sort of a transmit. I want to be doing a receive type direction. Again, still with a clock hosted at the facility. Uh, the best way to play with this and to get a sense for the, or a feel for it, is to set up a, a scenario where you're like trying to transmit to something around Mars and look at what time you would ha have to transmit and have it uh, break the horizon or transmit to a satellite that's going around the moon. And you can watch and see, if my satellite's going around the moon, I have to, um, what time should I start transmitting? What time would it be received? And do the analysis in SDK and, and be able to actually just hand calculate. You'll be able to see just based on course rough uh, approximation to the distance, how the light time delay is affecting the, the different answers that you get. Thank you.